Hi, welcome. My name's Trish. For those of you that don't know me, I am a card creator. I have been creating cards since 2011 and uh, a card reader. And I have been on my psychic journey since about 88, 89. So 1988, 1989. So it's a lot of years. And I, my mother's also a reader and I began reading with her when I was about 14 or 15. So today we're going to be having another look at the connections deck and we're learning to connect with our connections deck. So thank you for those who have purchased the deck. Um, some more, more decks went out last week and I've had notifications have arrived. Um, I have one notification that one arrived in the UK. So there's a UK one that has arrived in your country. Um, that's, you know, that's the notification that I've received so far. So if you haven't yet purchased your um, connections oracle, then the link is beside here so other way <laughs> the link is down below here you can see and that will take you through to the my website which will show you this deck here there's about 80 cards in this deck um, read a mat as well as the little card stand that comes with it now this card is great for reading relationships because it's got lots of things about feelings love mood and relationships but it also works with medium there's a section on there on how to read medium there's a whole line down the bottom that says mediumship and what that does it helps you to open the door see cards are a tool for a psychic they're just the tools like a um, hammer is to a builder so all they are is to help you open the door or to get more information or to use in a way to help your psychic connection and help your gifts to grow so if you're looking at getting into mediumship this is a perfect way to open the door so what it does you pull cards to see if they're male or female to see how they passed to see what their message is and then from there you can open and see what you're feeling hearing or seeing whereas you're connecting with the loved ones on the other side so it's a really good tool to start working with um mediumship abilities and that's what most people have been buying them for but the other really good thing that they use for as part from the relationships and the mediumship is to get message from your spirit guides so my reading this week has been on um, receiving messages from your spirit guides and you'll find that on my channel that was my pick a card reading for the week but we're going to move forward with these little tutorials on how to getting good connections with our connection deck. Now I'm going to do three reads today. We're going to do one with the mat, one without the mat, and then the third one is something different. So stay tuned for that one. Now, if you're reading along with me, so we're going to be doing lots of practice and lots of card pulls. And what we focus on with these is to tell stories and create stories. So what we're essentially doing is learning to read with our right brain, so not our left brain logic. So when, when you're reading out of guidebooks or you're reading meanings for things, you're using your logic because you're reading, you're processing, you're trying to understand something. And that means you're in that left brain logic. What I want to do is get you over into the right brain so I want you to go deep 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 into your right brain and get that muscle active and get it working so we do that by creativity we do that by storytelling so what we do here with the cards is we're just learning to tell stories with the cards now it could be a message I could be telling your story so it could be somebody that's landed on their feed and the stories that we're telling today could be your story and it could be a message for you so hopefully if there's any messages here they reach the people they're intended to go to but let's get into the reading today and we're going to level up today with our with our reading for those that you've been following along using your decks and connecting we're leveling up so we're going to learn how to um, validate last week we read on um, we did our mat but we lay we double layered we double layered our cards this week we're going to validate cards uh, and we'll work through on how to do that so we're reading today we're going to read on a general spread today let me see should we read general or should we read love now we're reading general okay so general now for the general key here we're looking at the first line we're reading from the first line on your mat and that will give you um, what we're looking at for a general spread and we're going to tell a story but I'm going to validate. So something in here is going to need more validation and that's because that's what we're focusing on today. Okay, so I've popped an extra card in the middle and this is how I normally read. I normally read with a card in the middle. So because to me, that's like my card 
of what I refer to and it's what I theme the whole reading around so you can sometimes you'll see me put it on my little card stand and that is the one I refer back to but sometimes I just read with it in the center of the spread so here um, the reading here for this one is what I do here is I bring in energy so I tell you step by step what I'm doing with these little readings this is how I bring energy in when I read so um, the theme of this reading is all about playing it cool and let whatever has to happen come to you. So now what I what I do is before I start reading, I'm going to show you how to, I just jump back and forth. I never look at the cards. I never look at what's coming up in the cards. I look at the centre card. I look at the first card, usually the centre card, and then I just go from wherever I'm told to go or wherever I feel drawn to go. There's no rules in reading. I don't care what anybody says. Um Although I know everybody has their own style and everybody believes, you know, certain ways, I just believe there's a freedom in using your right brain. Your bright, right brain loves freedom. It loves no rules. Your left brain loves rules. It loves boundaries. It loves, you know, ways of doing things, schedules and lists and, and um, structure. But your right brain loves freedom and creativity and that's really where we're, we're, we're focusing on being today. So that's why I don't believe in any rules. You do not have to start on card one. You do not have to be um, in a past present future trying to re read and even on the mat it says past present future I feel if you're drawn to go anywhere else backwards or forwards or diagonal or read two cards on the diagonal together then that's what you're meant to do because it's about boundless and without boundaries and being creative and just going with whatever you want to do there's no rules okay so here first of all we're looking at play it cool let whatever happens here that's meant to come into your life just let it let it come don't don't rush don't and again as I say don't rush I'm being drawn to the snail below so that's saying slow down be nice and calm do this at a as a gentle soft pace do not be in a hurry to to do this do not be in a hurry to get where you have to go do not be don't just we're looking at the end line like the goal line and think that's where I need to be and just you need to enjoy the process so it's about enjoying the journey it's about you know what what you're working to create and about enjoying that whole movement along the way don't be in such a hurry to get to the finish line okay so I'm seeing also here for you um it's about trying to attract something into your life. So trying to attract, um, you've got this goal set in your mind that you want to do and you're really focused on attracting that goal or manifesting or, or you know, reaching that goal line. That's what I'm seeing as we talk about goals. I'm, I'm drawn to the bee and the bee's telling me about, you know, bees work very hard. They're very hardworking. Um, they, they usually work together and they also, they're, they're, it's all about attracting. So um, they're attracted to flowers, but I feel that's in a way that, um, attracting and manifesting is what I'm picking up for out of the bee here so it's about being very slow very relaxed very, very calm um, about achieving and attracting your goals or your purpose and intention it's saying do not be tempted to be <sighs> railroaded is what I'm hearing but um, I'm hearing that the sense that I'm getting out of this is don't be tempted to um, be set back by third parties we've got the third party card here so that's what I'm feeling okay so it feels to be like a distance what I'm seeing here at the top if I can show you that a little bit better um because you cannot see on the screen to the side okay so what we've got is the distance card now we're telling stories here we're telling stories with these cards what you saw me do was start at the beginning start to tell a story about that card and and then I could hear you know I'm talking about being slow and then I'm my eye guided down to the snail card so then I knew that yes that's the card but as I'm telling this story that's the link that I'm making and that's the creation of that story that I'm telling and then I started to talk about the goals and the finish line and then I and then I saw the B card and that made me think about attraction and you know attracting and manifesting in your life so and working very hard to reach your goals so then as I started to tell the further story further I was getting a picture that um as I just saw the temptation card above about um, being setbacks and railroaded by third parties. So no matter what other people say or do, it's like, you, you know, you know what you want, you know what's right for you. And it's about moving forward with that at a nice, slow and steady pace. There's no hurry. There's no rush. There's no competition. So I'm, and I'm getting competition because we've got third party. So it's like, yeah, the goal here there's some kind of distance we're seeing here there's distance and and what that's telling me is that the goal is pretty far ahead where you want to be is pretty far ahead it's in the future and it's um quite a distant goal it's quite a big goal but I feel like you're just getting there achieving it very slowly and that's what I feel but I feel like don't be don't be um 
sidetracked or put off by what other people say or do to put roadblocks in your way and that's why I was getting like rail railroaded what when I the picture that I'm getting for the railroad is what they told me railroaded is um it's like you're going along on the railway track and then the track diverts to go this way so it's saying don't be tempted to do that it's stay on your path and just keeps trudging on very slowly and very calmly to reach your goal you don't have to be um pushy and and really to focus I know you are focused because I can feel the working card here but it's just about taking your time and just getting there when you're getting there so it's like the universe will provide as it's needed the, a saying that it is a distance it is the distance card is here and that's saying that it's going to take some time to get to your destination or to get to your overall goal but don't be um don't be put off by you know side things distractions to the side it's about staying on that path on that track on that railroad track okay so what I did there with this reading is I was hearing words and I was explaining what the words mean and linking it back to the cards and the story that I was telling so that was a message for somebody um could have been a message for me even so it it was um yeah it was just me putting together what I'm hearing what I'm feeling when I when I feel something I say I'm getting a sense of because I'm feeling this is what they're kind of trying to tell me to say but it's all about putting that story together using sound what you're hearing using what you're feeling using what you're seeing in the cards now if i was to close my eyes or look to the side that i start to see visions so and then i will bring those in as well i had no visions in this in this reading apart from when i saw the railway track diverting um diverting around but it said don't be tempted because we've got the temptation card here so do not be tempted to um to go off track to to be you know tempted or distracted to go off track so that's how I told that story with those cards so it's just about um, shuffling laying the cards now you could read underneath using the mat it says past present future underneath the mat and it also says you know your health and your goals we did speak about goals and the overall outcome so the over by reading that I would say that um, it's about slowing down for your health don't be too um, eager and keen and pushy and and just work working so much because it's not good for your health so this he slow being on the health card me reading these two back together indicates that you're doing this for your health you're doing you're being at a slow pace because it's needed for your health um we've also got the goddess card which is um the strong energy here so the that motivation and intention and purpose and that really powerful um because the goddess is a powerful card she's a powerful strong woman she's determined to get there on her own she's um, independent does things on her own um and very determined so here we're seeing goals so she's very determined to reach her goals and we did speak about that in the story without actually reading underneath um what was going on there that story just came through so and then over here it's about the outcome you'll get there you'll attract you will attract your goal um, I'm seeing on the diagonal it's going to take some time but it's going to take some hard work as well but it's also about enjoying the process because we've got play it clear in the middle so let's do another another shuffle this time we're not using that this time we're doing a three card shuffle And we're going to tell another story just using three cards. So if you're following along, just um, do a shuffle. Now, I do this instead of going one by one against each card because I mean, you can just read off the bottom for what they mean. You don't need a big guidebook because it's all about learning to story tell, tell stories, not just read what my intu intuition has said, what that card means. It's all about what your intuition is telling you about the story. Okay, so I hope somebody got a message out of that last one. Let's see if we have another message for somebody. Okay, let's see a third message. There we go, there's our third one. Now we're going to read three cards together. Okay, see, ooh, lots of water. Okay, first thing I've noticed when I've read when I've pulled these cards, it's water, water, water. So fish are water, swans glide on the water, crabs in and out of water and land so I'm very driven to say about water so you could be the person you're reading for could be a water sign or could be um, 
what's going on around them could involve somebody that is a water sign. Water also indicates emotion. So it's all about, um, so really important when you're reading elements. If you know your elements, like you know your earth's all about, you know, safety and security, um, having your needs met. It's also about your, um, like your sort of pentacles in the in the tarot, which is like, you know, how you make your money, like your, your everyday items, your possessions, your job, your home, your money. So it's your everyday type stuff. It's like your physical level stuff can also be about your body because it's your physical level so we're definitely playing our mental plane so we've got the mental plane which is the suit of swords we've got our um, emotional level which is the suit of water and we've got our spiritual plane which is the suit of one so if you can kind of get a bit of a grasp around what your elements mean it makes reading our oracle as well as tarot very simple that's that's because my oracle decks are created based around tarot so fundamentals from tarot in my oracles but what I'm drawn here is water so that made me talk about the suit of tarot which reminds me I've got a tarot deck coming out very soon so maybe that was a segue for that but I'm looking at, at um, water now water is all about your emotional body your emotional needs so it's all about understanding um, this reading would be an emotional level so it could be about how somebody's feeling it could be um, something they're going through in a relationship now I'm not actually really getting anything here about relationship apart from the two fish which are swimming in either directions so what that's saying that the um, relationship it's it's not about the relationship we're looking at a person so we're looking at you specifically because and how I why I'm getting that is because the card here with the fish we're looking at two different directions. So we're not looking at a relationship here together, working forward, moving forward together. They're just doing their own thing. They're, they're, the two fish are doing their own thing. They're swimming happily. They're swimming in different directions here, you can see. So they're just doing their own things. For some of you, it could be that you're... Um, you are thinking about going your own way, whether that's a relationship, a romantic partnership, um, moving like a... Um, and, and because it's water, it's all about emotions. It's all about relationships and feelings. So friendships, romantic partners, it can be any relationship in your life and you're thinking about going separate right, ways or you're on different paths. So you, you could be with your partner. You could be just seem to be on different paths at the moment. You're not kind of doing things together. It's like you've only got, you've got your own things going on. Because then when I look back at the swan, I'm seeing that the swan is gliding along that water. I'm taking a look at the card. I'm seeing, I'm looking at the pictures and I'm looking at what that card's doing. And I'm very drawn to the pictures today because they're all water signs and they all connect visually. Um, as in that's how, they, that's the connection that I've made between the cards for the story. So what I'm seeing is that you're either on a different path to your partner your, or your friends or or you're just doing your own thing. So you're on a different path because you're swimming in different directions. You're gliding along as a swan because that's you doing your own thing. Um, this swan here I'm seeing it's it's got its wings out and it's just having that freedom just to glide. And what, what I'm feeling, I'm actually feeling from this swan, is that it's just gliding and it's just like relieved and it's like, it's just on the water and you can feel me breathing and, and my breathing when I breathe it's like relax it's like this energy of this person that I'm reading for is just relaxed and it feels like a relief and it's almost like it's enjoying gliding on this water by itself because here we're seeing the fish swimming in different directions doing their own thing but the the swan here is just really just taking a breather it's just gliding along, it's just doing its thing and it feels good, it feels relaxed, it feels calm and it's just enjoying and I feel like it's shaking out its wings and it's just shaking off whatever, um, you know, whatever was on the wings, it's like shaking it off is what I'm, the vision that I got from this one is I see it and I didn't, I don't want to say it in a, okay, you could be shaking off things that are holding you down, you could be shaking off anxieties or shaking off um um, mental thoughts so here it says you need to value yourself I'm bringing the words back now so for some of you it could be that you're you've had negative self self-talk or maybe somebody has been saying something negative to you um, to you or about you but there's some kind of just sense of now just shake those wings and let that stuff go so let it all go is what it's saying and just glide just do your thing 
just be calm, just enjoy the moment, just enjoy the process. It's really what I'm getting here. So it's just about, it's a real, it's a sense of relief. It's a sense of a burden lifted is what I'm feeling because I'm feeling this and seeing this swan. You see, when I look to the side, that's what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing this wing, this um, swan, it's just shaking its wings and it's letting, letting all the droplets or whatever was on its wings, like it, it feels like it had wet, heavy wings. And now it's like drying them out and they're feeling soft and free. And it's like, yeah, it's just relaxed. And it feels good about that. It feels relieved. Um, and it just feels like now it can just go at a nice slow pace, glide along that water and just relax. It's like that's how, that's the sense that I'm getting. Now, when I'm looking at the crab, crab means um, a different approach. So it's taking a different approach. So you can tell that that ties the story up at the end. So without me, even though I've, I've read this from um, left to right, um, but I have not read it in a past, present, future way, I've read it in a story way. So I can see from the fish that, you know, there's some kind of you or your partners on different paths or doing your own thing, but you, in the middle I'm seeing you as a swan is just lifting and shaking and just enjoying the moment and feeling free of burdens and just feeling a sense of relief and freedom is what I'm getting from the swan and then it ties off at the end by the, the crab saying that um, it's a new approach it's a new way of doing things so it's, it's um, a time of doing things a little bit differently and taking a new approach to old ways of doing things so hope you kind of understand how to story tell with these so what I've done here is I've focused on first of all looking where the connections are where did I find the connections in this deck and I found them by water sign so that made me then look at the the images and then line up and tell stories but then I started to get feelings of you know and, and see visions and that's what you need to bring into your reading you just open up and let them go now I'm supposed to validate on that last card and I didn't so let's validate one one more here so what I would do is um yeah i was supposed to validate and i should have validated the goddess card on the last one because that's the one i didn't read in the story so i should have validated on that one but today i want to show you how to validate so let's pull out another card okay play it cool now um play it cool i already know what it means because we talked about it um play it cool is about a time of just relaxing and just you know letting things come to you just being more laid back and relaxed and and you know letting the world just go by or letting things happen as they happen so it already ties into the story that i just told but if it didn't i would say okay what do you mean i don't understand give me another card to understand that one a little bit more so then okay i get um yes <laughs> they're telling me yes i and, and what that just means here is that yes i said it right um yes but how i explained it was right so sometimes the cards will do that for you as well it will say yeah well you're on the right track you're telling the story in the right way and that's what they were telling me but because i'm asking you about um validating we need to valid when you're not quite sure about a, a card you just say okay I need to validate that and then you just pull another card and then you read those two together as part of a story and to get a bit more of a bigger picture now I'm getting here um, happier times so I've got the celebration card to um, validate this card it's saying that you're coming into happier times you're going to be celebrating so there's either celebrations coming up around you or you're going to be celebrating achievements um, because I'm seeing the time to celebrate or happier times ahead for you and that's what I'm saying so by taking by doing things a little bit differently um, you're going to see um, you're going to be celebrating and you're going to be or you are celebrating and you are there's happier times ahead for you so if you're not sure of a card don't be afraid just to think okay well I don't really know how that make, fits the story I'll pull another card and then put those two together and then you can see if you can understand the story a little bit better for that now for the third one the third card pull here what I want you to do is I want you to tell a story for me. So where you've been um, following along, I hope, with these tutorials on your decks. So I want, I'm going to pull three cards here and I want you to tell a story um, and put it in the comments. Oh, that, I'm not going to make you read that many cards, <laughs> but I will make you read this, this many, the three. So um, I'm going to show you the cards and I just want you to tell a story. Okay, this one here says time. Time is needed. Now, don't forget you, there's no rules. If you feel like you want to read past, present, future, you read past, present, future. If you want to read with the center card, which is slow down, you can start with the center card. Or if you want to just start and just tell whatever story comes to mind, goddess. 
Now we've, we've pulled the goddess already today, so I did explain kind of what the goddess means, but you can pull anything you like out of the goddess. You can look at the image, you can look at the words. And you're piecing it together with these other two cards. Just move my fingers so you can read the words. And just notice there any things that are similar. I've noticed the words um, being very similar, so therefore that would make me want to read the words and put the words together in a story because they're already connecting. So I'm looking forward to seeing um, what, your, what your story is. So put those three cards together and tell a simple little, little story and pop it in the comments. And, um, yeah, I'm so looking forward to seeing that. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again next week.